Now to innovators, where we look at groundbreaking innovations transforming the world. Music games rocked the video game industry to its foundations a few years ago. Guitar Hero 3 is the highest grossing game of all time, but sales have since plummeted. So what happened? We talked to Iran Agozi, the inventor of both Guitar Hero and Rock Band, who says the industry isn't over, it's just reinventing itself. This is Iran Agozi's idea of bliss. He likes connecting with fellow musicians. It's how he met his wife, Yukiko, and he loves the crowd. I wanted to give that feeling to everyone else in the world. So he created this, Guitar Hero and Rock Band. How did a classical music geek create these hard rock and hits? It started when Agozi met Alex Rogopoulos 15 years ago. They shared a love of playing quirky Balinese music and playing flight simulator games, which led to this question. Using the joystick to fly an airplane seems really natural. But what if we took a joystick and we used it to control music? Harmonix was born with a game called The Axe, but it takes a lot of practice to become a maestro. 10 years, 10 long years of really not, not making, kind of making a big splash. But finally, they composed their first masterpiece. Guitar Hero became the highest grossing game of all time. Problem was, profits belonged to the game publisher and not Harmonix. So they created a competitor, Rock Band. So when MTV offered Harmonix the chance to make its own franchise, Rock Band, and go one step further, I, I think a lot of what they heard playing in their head was the sound of sweet revenge. Rock Band proved a second monster hit, but in late 2008, the music suddenly stopped. Music game sales plummeted. So are gamers over music games? Maybe they're past that specific experience, but I'm not at all worried about people's appetite for music games because music is such a core part of who we are. To win back fans, the company is changing its tune. It's incredible, right? People have become virtuoso players at this thing, which is just a freaking plastic controller with five buttons. Like, what good is that, right? So Harmonix released this Fender Stratocaster guitar in March. Real strings, real frets. It's a whole new way to learn music. People spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on guitar lessons on their instruments. And here, with Rock Band, which is just, you know, kind of a standard $50 or $60 game, um, you get the entire package. Well, not quite. The guitar itself is a hefty $280, but some critics say it's worth it. You have kids who their sole focus in life is to beat a level, outscore their opponents, outscore their friends, and you give them an instrument, a real six-string guitar. They're going to do things with that guitar that we haven't seen done before. And this year, Harmonix also came up with something completely different, Dance Central for the Microsoft Connect. It was the next way to express yourself musically is by moving your body to the music. It's already sold over a million units. Last I checked, that's a platinum hit. And in an industry where you're only as big as your next hit, Igozi says Harmonix will keep reinventing itself to stay in tune with its audience. We will continue to innovate and be able to bring music to people in all new different ways. You know, I don't even know what they are necessarily now, but, but I know that, that, that the audience and the appetite and the hunger for wonderful musical experiences is always going to be there. After Harmonix made Rock Band, Viacom swooped in to buy the company. The price tag, $175 million.